As Maine's Republican Party meets for its quadrennial convention, many delegates are pushing for laws aimed at sex education in our schools. The primary target of these possible planks for the GOP's platform are curricula that focus on what it's like to be gay, lesbian, queer, or trans. Now that's something that's being played out in a lot of other states. According to the advocacy group Lambda Legal, six states, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and South Carolina, currently have laws barring LGBT curricula in public schools. Texas and Alabama take it a step further. They require sex education teachers to tell students that being gay, quote, is not a lifestyle acceptable to the general public. While support in those states for such laws appears strong, here in Maine, at least in years past, it was barely a blip on the radar. But times have changed, and a more conservative element of Maine's GOP is clearly ready to exert its influence. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry has more on the changes they made to the party platform today and the changes they want to see in the balance of power in Augusta come November. The first day of the state Republican convention started off with the party amending its platform. The changes include restrictions on sex education and critical race theory in schools and limiting what school staff can say about gender and sexuality. Some delegates call the teaching of gender other than a man or a woman child abuse. The platform also bans encouraging students from choosing their own gender, pronouns, or sexual orientation. Whether or not your favorite candidate wins the primary, when it's over, we need to get along. Senator Susan Collins giving an animated speech to fire up the crowd. This weekend's convention will feature some political newcomers, like Ed Thielander, who is running for Congress in Maine's first district. The retired combat Navy SEAL from Bristol says one of the biggest issues for him, inflation. We've got to get it under control. We've got to stop sanctioning America. We've got to get our supply chain fixed and uh, get so we can get back and, and live our lives. Thielander will be running unopposed in the primary and is set to take on Democratic incumbent Shelley Pingree in the general election. Another newcomer, Liz Caruso. Caruso is a select woman for the town of Caratunk. Sure. and was involved in the no CMP corridor debate. She says it's important to have a rural Mainer in Congress. Mainers are crying out to be heard, to be honored, and to truly be represented by someone who will walk in integrity. That's what they want in D.C. Caruso is challenging former Congressman Bruce Poliquin in the primary. Poliquin declined an interview request on Friday. Outside the Augusta Civic Center, there were half a dozen Mainers opposing Senator Collins, citing her votes to impeach former President Trump and to confirm Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Inside the convention, though, her harsh words for Democrats were met with applause and laughter. We Republicans believe that every day is the 4th of July. Democrats believe that every day is April 15th. When Collins left the stage, she gave each delegate a camo hat with an elephant on the front, saying Republicans are hunting for votes this November. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. In a press release, Speaker of the Maine House, Ryan Fecto, who is a Democrat, says the Maine GOP's latest attack on Maine's LGBTQ plus community is not just disturbing, but dangerous. It shows they are more interested in attacking fellow Mainers and relaunching culture wars from the last decade than actually dealing with real issues affecting Maine's hardworking families.